In this week's Fact or Fiction, we're investigating a series of hidden phone numbers, which could lead us to new characters, events and leads surrounding the mysteries in Los Santos and Blaine County. Ever since the first screenshots were released, mobile phones have featured prominently and there are numerous signs and billboards around the city and surrounding areas plastered with phone numbers. Could hints to solving some of the game's biggest mysteries be hiding in plain sight? We have the answers. Investigating the secret phone numbers is actually easier than you'd think, thanks to some excellent and slightly controversial work by members of the GTA forums. Using techniques we can't really go into, someone has managed to extract all of the in-game phone numbers out of the game files and supply us with a list. We have the phone numbers for an army lieutenant, a character called Edgar, the number for the Truth Seeker hotline, as well as Brucey e. Kibbutz and Merriweather in single player, but the question is, do they work? Testing this is easy as all the characters have a phone with them at all times, so we got to work. To start with, we tried the number for First Lieutenant Kyle P. Slater, 328-555-0145. You've reached First Lieutenant Kyle P. Slater. Leave the where, the when, and the how after the tone. This number never appears in game and is thought to be from a cut mission where you transported the lieutenant back to Fort Zancudo and are rewarded with his phone number, which is interesting because we know Fort Zancudo is where you find one of the game's UFOs. Next up is the mysterious Edgar. We never meet anyone in the game called Edgar and nor does the name Edgar pop up in any previous GTAs. Supposedly his number is 611-555-0146. This is Edgar. I'll back some other time. Another successful connection and the number for the Truth Seeker hotline, 273-555-0155, also works. Hello, Truth Seekers. This is a facsimile of my voice. You've reached the Truth Seeker hotline. Leave a message for the show or for me, Ronald Jakowski. As does the number 273-555-0185 for Brucey e. Kibbutz, who we can contact in GTA Online quite easily, but this number calls him in single player. This is, well, you know who I am. B to the K to the butts. Oh yeah, I'm off getting laid probably, so call back another time and yes, she is a lucky lady. And finally, Merriweather on 273-555-0120. All Meriwether representatives are currently busy. Please call back later. So there you have it, proof that there are phone numbers in the game which put you in contact with people you'll otherwise not have spoken to. This list of numbers is fact. Because of the nature in which these numbers were obtained, we can be quite certain that this is the definitive list. There are other numbers, like one for the Feminine Sexual Arts Centre, 273-555-0164 if you're interested, and some which lead you to more answering machine messages. Thanks for calling. To check for hours and availability, visit our website. I'm otherwise occupied, so call back later. You heard? We're not here. Call back later. But could the location of these numbers, rather than the numbers themselves, be the key? If these numbers are in the game, scrawled on a wall or written in sand, it could be a clue that we're on the right path to solving a bigger mystery. Could First Lieutenant Kyle Slater turn up in some future DLC? Will we ever get to meet Edgar face to face? Or is this just another example of leftover code not removed from the final game? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Please keep sending in your tip-offs by tweeting us at GTA VO Clock, commenting below, or joining us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash GTA VO Clock. And come back next time for more GTA Fact or Fiction.